Welcome to New Zealand's Biggest Gap Year, an epic adventure that my partner Laura and I decided to tackle a few years back. The adventure, 365 activities all around New Zealand in 365 days. And today we are on the East Cape of the North End of New Zealand and we're checking out the Eastwood Hill Arboretum in Gisborne. Plus, later on on part 2 of this video, we'll check out the Rare Rock Slide and taste some amazing wines. So check it out and I'll see you at the end of the video. Today we're having a huge itinerary planned. We are first heading to the Eastwood Hill Arboretum, then we are heading to the Rare Rock Slide, one of the longest rock slides in the world. Then we are checking out the Rare Falls nearby and we are finishing in Gisborne at the Wine Centre. After a 30 minute drive out of Gisborne, we arrive at the Eastwood Hill Arboretum, which is the largest arboretum in New Zealand. It covers 131 hectares of land and is the largest collection of Northern Hemisphere trees in the Southern Hemisphere. Because we arrive a little bit early for our tour, we take some time at the Discovery Centre, but it's already time for our curator tour, which is basically a nice ride around with the curator itself. They have a massive jeep fitted with ton of seats and they even have a trailer fitted with even more seats. It's so comfortable and it's a great way to go all around the massive arboretum. Dan's going to be our tour guide for this curator tour and he has a really good setup. He has a microphone that speaks onto speakers so everybody in the whole truck can hear him very well. And the tour starts with a little bit of history about the arboretum. The first plantings at Eastwood Hill happened in 1910 when the landowner Douglas Cook, who was originally a farmer, started a massive mission to plant hundreds and hundreds of trees. Over the 55 years that he was here, he planted 5,000 trees and now this whole place is maintained by a small team of volunteers. Dan shows us a collection of trees from all over the world, starting off with some unusual trees from China and Mexico. And this is all mixed in with a bunch of native trees from New Zealand as well, like Nikal Palms and Totara. It's such an unusual mix and as you can imagine, it's unlike anything we have seen in New Zealand so far. We quickly realized that Eastwood Hill Arboretum is not just an awesome place to learn about the natural environment of New Zealand, but really to learn about tree species and the natural environment from trees all over the world and how that fits in with the New Zealand ecosystem. On top of learning about all the different tree species at Eastwood Hill Arboretum, we also learn about how this place dramatically changes between the seasons. We are arriving here just before those autumn colours are starting to pop out and really autumn is meant to be the most glorious time to be here and that's between March and May in New Zealand. If you guys are visiting the Arboretum on a budget, there is a lot of different walking options that you can take. They are ranging from about 30 minutes, really easy kind of walk, to a good three hours where you're gonna get to see most of what the Arboretum has to offer. It's a really colorful place and there's really a lot to see here. Laura and I were absolutely so surprised on how many different colors and shades of tree we were able to see in this very short tour. Despite this is not autumn, we are actually seeing so many different colors. It feels like it is. There is a ton of red and yellow trees, but this is because they have this kind of foliage all year round. And this is really what this arboretum is showcasing. It's the wealth and variety of the vegetation available on planet Earth. It's a massive eye opener. And this is exactly why this arboretum is organized the way it is. The Eastwood Hill Arboretum includes over 17 spaces. There is different garden, theme plantation, herbarium and much more. And obviously all this varied vegetation attracts a ton of wildlife. We get to see a ton of wood pigeons which is basically a beefed up version of your classic pigeon from Europe or North America. And on top of it it's so much more colorful with this beautiful white shade and green head. Dan tells us that we actually can hear over 40 different type of bird all around the arboretum and this is why this whole place sounds so magical. It's a beautiful enchanting forest with heaps of bird songs. One of the really interesting and last trees that we're seeing today is a tree from Florida which roots rise up above the swampland really so those roots can breathe which is quite unusual. As the curated tour is coming to an end, we have plenty of time left in the day to check out more of the Gisborne area because the Eastwood Hill Arboretum is not the only hidden gem in Gisborne. 
So we're heading to the Rere Rock Slide to have some fun. It's actually one of the longest natural rock slides in the world. We've got a bodyboard, we've got two able bodies. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. Next time on New Zealand's Biggest Gap Year, day 271, part two, we're gonna check out one of the world's longest rock slide. We're also gonna check out one of the most pristine waterfall in the entirety of New Zealand. And we're gonna head to Gisborne to try some of the most delicious wine that the North Island of New Zealand has to offer. Join us then. All right, everybody, so this video showcased the largest uh, arboretum in New Zealand, which is the East Deal Arboretum, and I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, let's have a look at some of the comments you guys had the first time we published it. We had Matthew that says, you guys, awesome once again. Uh, another amazing video, beautiful walks and nice wine. Keep up the good work. Uh, you're, uh, you're doing a fantastic job. So yeah, thank you very much, Matthew. I appreciate always some uh, good positive reinforcement right here. That's what the internet is all about, of course, of course. And now we had Marion, which is uh, one of the admin from the Eastwood Hill Arboretum, says, whoa, great video about the Eastwood Hill. Thank you so much for a fantastic review. Uh, we also have Hensford's mum uh, say, we just went there last week. It's beautiful in autumn. Yes, there is a lot of trees which are actually uh, losing their leaves in autumn in the arboretum. So it makes it look absolutely fantastic. So that's one of the best time of the year to visit the Eastwood Hill Arboretum. And if you don't know when autumn is in New Zealand, it's April, May and June. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's correct. Uh, all right, Anna Witter says it was beautiful. She loved the microscope. Uh, <laughs> and she says she would have done the same silly things, obviously. The Happy Carlson say that it's a cool way to travel. And Faisal asks, I mean, says, nice video. Uh, my friend, I like New Zealand and I can't wait to get there. So that's pretty awesome. So yes, this is a two-part video. So there's another part uh, coming up quite soon where we're going to be checking out the Rare Rock Slide, which is quite famous as well as tasting some wine in the Gisborne area. If you too are planning a trip to New Zealand, make sure to check out nzpocketsguide.com, which is New Zealand's largest travel guide, and to join us every Sunday at 8 a.m. New Zealand time for the NZ Travel Show, where we answer all your questions about traveling in New Zealand live right here on YouTube. So come and pick the brains of the expert. In the meantime, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next video.